Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. I hope everyone is well. It is Monday, so it's time for the work week top and bottom of the deck. We're just going to get right into it. For those of you who are new here and don't know how we do this, I go by the elements. When I do my twice a week reading, it just makes for a faster read. So I'm not sitting here putting you to sleep. So, that being said, it is still Capricorn season for, what, another 12 to 18 hours at this point, I think? I don't know. I, it, it depends on what website you ask, because I asked Google and they say that Capricorn ends tomorrow. So, either way, starting with the Earth signs, going around the wheel. If it resonates with your sun sign, cool. It's your free will, do whatever you choose to do. With the message given by the guards, if you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate with your sun sign, that's okay, too. You can check moon rising or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid, and all things can and maybe vice versa. might even play out from the perspective of a cross-watcher, and our dear friends, the cross-watchers, are always welcome here at the fire sign tarot table. Everybody's always welcome here, as long as you're over the age of 18. Please see the disclaimer in the about section of this channel. Anyway. We're going to throw them down. Oh, one more last little bit. If it is absolutely not your reading, not your story, not your message, don't hesitate to leave the cards on the table and walk away. Don't take with you what does not belong to you, because that's how fights get started, and I'm not going to get accused of being... A home wrecker again this week. So, here we go. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I forgot the date again. Hold on. I have to ask Google. I ask Google a lot because I can never remember the date. Oh, 18th through the 22nd of January, 2021. All right, I pulled off the top, pull off the bottom. King of Wands reversed. Prince of Swords reversed. Oof, okay, well. I'm going to say blocked communication, nothing getting started, nothing moving. Possibly some avoidance of confrontation with whoever you're dealing with. I mean, it could be. The King of Wands is kind of confrontational at times. Doesn't always mean to be, but that's just how it ends up. A little hot-headed. Kind of like the Emperor, but not quite as bad. Okay. Either way, that Prince of Swords reversed. I don't think y'all are talking. What happened? Wheel of Fortune and a King of Swords. End of a cycle, possibly. Decided to close something out so something new could start, maybe. Logical head over heart decision. I tried to be logical about it, I think. Awfully guarded, though. Maybe you tried to guard your emotions in regards to this. Maybe that's why you're not talking. Hmm. Okay, well, what happened after that? Five of Wands in the reverse, Four of Swords in the reverse. Well, you're not fighting. There's no conversation going on. I don't think there's a lot of communication going on either. Restless energy. Somebody's antsy. Hmm. Okay, well, it's coming in this week. We always clarify, too. Oh, the devil in the reverse and the king of pentacles in the upright. That's not bad. That's not bad. Not bad so far. Looks like you could be disconnecting from some possibly toxic stuff. Possibly releasing yourself some from a situation that may have been a little bit binding or a whole lot of binding, depending on who you are or what you're doing. Flew out. The devil flew out again. Well, what do you know? <laughs> Let's see if it comes back out. 
I'll make this crap up, guys. You, you're watching me shuffle these cards. You're watching me shuffle. I'll make this crap up. King of Pentacles could be some kind of fabulous offer coming in. Or it could be you seeing yourself as the fabulous offer. Reaping the rewards of working on yourself, loving yourself, flew out, tower reversed, possibly rebuilding some old towers that needed to be rebuilt. All right. Let's see what we got. Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards on the table for my earth sign, friends, please? Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, January 18th through the 22nd. See who decides they want to come out. Who wants to come out? Who wants to come out and play? It's acting like it wants to talk. It's saying, pick me. Karma. Karma. That, my friends, is laying something to rest. So it can be born again, if that's what's supposed to happen. That's the universe coming in and saying, now this is what we're doing. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Perhaps you're the one, because karma's, in this particular deck, they call it karma. It's the judgment card. Possibly you're the one making the judgment call. Now this is what we're doing. We're not talking. We're not fighting, but we're not talking. I mean, I've been doing it with my family for years. So, I mean, I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to judge you. No. Why would I judge you? You don't need all that bad energy. All right. I don't know why I'm splitting these cards, but we're doing it anyway. Probably so I have a little bit more room. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? The Fool. Okay. Perhaps someone jumped. Jumped ship, went off and did something new. It happens at the close of cycles or the beginnings of new ones. Perhaps you're the one who decided to jump ship and go start something new. New adventures, new places, new people, new things. Okay. Maybe someone wanted to. Maybe somebody got a little antsy. Why is the King of Swords here? Queen of Cups reversed, yeah. Logical, non-emotional decisions. Possibly withdrawing with, from the situation emotionally, guarding, guarding what's really going on in the inside. You know, as strong as he is or tries to be, that King of Swords, it, that's a man who's been broken on the inside. That man has seen things. Don't, never mind the sex of the card, it's just the energy coming off of it. He's seen things. He knows things. He's very guarded and protected. He uses logic to do so. Perhaps someone left the situation and the other person's withdrawing emotionally or vice versa. You're not fighting, you're not talking. Things aren't moving forward. Can I get one more in between, please? One in between. One in between. Let it fall. Let it drop. What position is it in? Magician reversed. That's a card of manipulation. That is a card, can be a card, of someone pulling strings, pushing those little emotional buttons. We all have them. I don't care who you are. We all got them. 
knowing what to say, knowing what to do to get your way being very manipulative. Someone could have tried to manipulate the situation. Oof. I don't think it worked out to the other person's favor though, know what I'm saying? I don't think it worked out to the favor of the person who's trying to do it. I don't think it was you either, Earth Signs. I think it was the other person. Could be water, could be fire. Fool is an Aries card. I also have air. Mm, oof. Why is the Five of Wands reversed here? Strength. And the Six of Wands. Anybody else want to come out and play tonight? I only wanted one, but it gave me two. I'm not going to argue. The fighting stopped. Victory after the battle. Holding back. Respecting the differences. Courage. One more. Hi. Seven of Cups reversed. Somebody come back and cause a little bit of confusion. Could be Leo with the strength card. Could have taken a little bit of courage for them to come back. Maybe you're the one who went back. I don't know. I wasn't there. I didn't see nothing. I, I'm, I was probably throwing cards down at my table. I don't know. I wasn't there. I think a return could have possibly caused a little bit of confusion, possibly some restless energy. I'm hearing, I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. Okay, you didn't want to fight. Okay. You've made your point. Knight of Pentacles. Gee. Sometimes that's a slow moving horse when you're trying to get your courage up. That's a that's a meaningful apology right there. It's a meaningful offer. Why is the Four of Swords reversed here? Three of Swords. Restless energy. Somebody's antsy. Somebody's still heartbroken. One more. The Tower. Just when you think you're going to be fine. Happy retrograde, guys. Guess what? Sometimes it's the people coming back that you don't want to come back. But sometimes the universe doesn't care what you want because the universe guarantee will always give you what you need. And for whatever reason, I guarantee you, for whatever reason it may be, if this person is coming back into your life, there is a reason for it. So just open your eyes, open your heart, open your, open your intuition, open your mind. Don't close yourself off yet. Though some of you may want to with some of the cards on this table right now. Just when you think you're over it, somebody comes back in. They may have come to harness your strength, Earth Signs. 
sometimes people come back in to remind us of what we don't want. Yeah. Yeah. You ever had a rerun? I've had a rerun or two. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I've There's been a couple di couple gentlemen in my past who have, I've dated more than once. And it didn't go well any of the times. And, well... I mean... I guess if you wait long enough, if you put that half gallon of milk back in the fridge, it's going to turn into cottage cheese. I don't think you want it in your refrigerator that long, though. Neither here nor there. I think I've made my point with that. I'm done beating that dead horse. Why is this devil reversed here for what's coming in this week? What? That wasn't supposed to happen. I'm going to keep you. I'm going to keep you. I think I got them all. Five pentacles in the world. That actually makes sense, friends. I'm definitely catching a sense of, you know what? It's time to clean out the fridge. I think that spoiled milk's been in there long enough. I still don't have cottage cheese. You're ending the cycle. <laughs> You're disconnecting from this because it was toxic, possibly manipulative. They, they literally, I think, only came back to rub salt into a wound, for some of you. Knight of Cups. I can't guarantee what's in it, but I have a cup for you. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Ace of Wands. Reverse. No new start. Nope. No new start. Not going there. You are not going there. Nine of Wands. Very on guard. It's source reverse popped out, landed on the floor. Okay. You're, I'm not even going to beat this dead horse anymore. Like, you know what? I'm worth more than this. I'm not going to start anything with you. I'm finally getting past what happened. I'm finally getting over you. I don't want this back. You don't want it back. You don't want the cup. You don't want the cup. I think you're finally making a last judgment call. Okay, well. Let's get a couple cards of advice. And the tower. <laughs> Towers fall to make room for the things that are supposed to be built in your life. People leave your life to make room for the people who are supposed to be there. And sometimes they come back. And it is up to you what you do with that. Ten of Swords reversed in the Princess of Wands.
don't let this bring you back to a place where the sun doesn't shine. You have found your worth. And if you haven't yet, you're about to. You've worked your butt off to get to where you are. Don't let somebody drag you back in. Don't do it. Seven of Swords reversed and the Five of Swords in the upright. Six of Swords reversed, Seven of Wands. Okay. That makes more sense now. Wow, the five, the six, and the seven of swords. Wow. If they return, nothing but nothing but the truth out of either one of you. Tell the truth and expect the truth in return. If they do decide to come back, you you better let... I'm just looking the... I'm reading the cards. Give me a second. You better let them know who's boss. Because don't let them put you through what you went through last time. This was like a tough road to hoe. I see that magician reversed and it's like somebody's head got messed with severely. Oof. Earth signs. Let me know. Okay? Let me know what happens. All right, I'm going to pause for a second and make sure I'm playing with a full deck when I do my clarifying for the next round. So hold on. Okay, I'm back. I had to count and make sure they were all there. So, <laughs> you know, they don't go flying in chunks like that. I don't know what's up with that. Anyway, air signs are next. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, January 18th to the 22nd. Get them on the table for my air signs. Gemini, Leader, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, January 18th to the 22nd. Hair hasn't popped out. Let's see if it pops out again. Maybe it just wanted to come out and say hi. I don't know. Hunt in the hair fit. There it is. Well, what do you know? Hmm. Wow. Somebody engaged? At very least, that's so making it. Wow. To throw a clarifier on that. That's beautiful. Almost don't want to clarify because I don't want to ruin it. But that's beautiful. Okay, well. What happened? Seven of Wands, Empress Perversed. Okay. Now it's going to get dark. Someone possibly battling some inner demons in the past. Maybe not thinking this was going to grow or mature into anything. It wasn't going to prosper. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, fast forward a little. Six of Wands, Nine of Pentacles reversed. Oh. I don't like the codependent vibe I'm getting off of it, but I think somebody came back. It's a sweet codependent vibe, though. I'm feeling like I need you coming off of that. We'll clarify. I should probably shut up before I get the clarifiers on the table. 
It's coming in this week. Nine of Wands. Three of Pentacles reversed. Or Queen of Pentacles reversed. That's sketch, guys. That's sketch. I mean, it's sweet in a, in a sketchy, weird sort of way. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some clarity on the cards and table for my air sign friends, please? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, and Rising Venus, January 18th, the 22nd. This is sketch. This is super sketch. I don't know how I feel about it. go through it once, see if anything wants to come out. Hi. Four cups. Pardon me. You don't want to take the cup at first or somebody didn't want to take the cup. Someone could be contemplating the end all be all of all relationships. Somebody could be contemplating commitment. I mean, that's not a bad thing. Somebody's unsure. Somebody's very unsure. Okay. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Why the Seven of Wands? Emperor. Could be having some internal battles, some internal struggles. Could be a control freak. Could be just wanting it their way and their way only. Maybe that's why it didn't work out in the past, maybe. Somebody had to be in charge. I think I... Yeah. Um, why is the Empress reversed here? The Magician... Power to manifest anything we want. And power to manifest new things. Maybe they wanted to manifest new things. Or you or whoever. Ace of Cups. That's new things. Somebody had to be in charge. And I think the other person's like, you know what? I'm going to go over here and do my thing. Because clearly you don't want my cup. So I'm going to take my cup and I'm going to go. That's the vibe I'm getting off of this. Okay. Why is the Six of Wands here? Roll reversed. Unfinished business. They went off, did their thing, took their cup, came back because there's unfinished business. Okay. Why is the Nine of Pentacles reversed here? Oh, hi. Ace of Wands. Reversed. Hermit. I miss you. I need you. It didn't go so well when I left. I found the light. I would like to share the light with you. Maybe they had some weird spiritual experience while they were gone. I don't know. Maybe they want to 
bring the light into your life and share it with you. Maybe want to bring the sun, huh? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, what's happening this week? Why is the Nine of Wands here? Little fortune upright. We're going to close this out. <laughs> One more on that. Okay, I'll take two. Upward turn of events, closing out an old cycle, starting a new one. Two of Wands, letting go in the past and moving forward toward the future. Eight of Pentacles, one last shot. I want to put the work into this. There's a theme right here. There's a theme. There's a theme. Does anybody know what the theme is? That Empress is upside down. That Nine of Pentacles is upside down. That Queen of Pentacles is upside down. And there's an energy that all three of these cards have in common. Somebody was not shown their worth. Or was not... Either wasn't shown their worth, wasn't... That means the same thing wasn't made to be felt worthy. They're all upside down. I have a sense here that someone was humbled. Someone was humbled here. Going off doing their own thing because someone doesn't want to take their cup. And coming back when they realize, you know what, I get why you didn't want to take my cup now. And they want to give it one last go. But right here, why is this Queen of Pentacles reversed here? Seven of Pentacles, you got impatient. Or somebody got impatient. Hierophant. Four of Pentacles. Definitely acknowledgement of connection. Feelings are definitely mutual. And it looks like somebody held on to the other person. Or held on to the feelings associated with this experience. And I don't think a lot of those feelings were positive. Can I get one more to help me make this sense, please? If I could talk right now. Wow. Can I get one more to help me... Make sense of this, please. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. Five of Cups reversed. Air signs, I think you're going to call them out. I think you're going to call them out. You're not sad anymore. I think... I think you know you're being lied to. Ace of Swords, reversed. Not the Sword of Truth. I think you're going to be calling him out. Like, you know what? Um, why now? Why now? Why now? Why now? And it's not from a place of anger. 
This is a very matter of fact, uh, you know what? You took a cup away, and when you took that cup away, you spilled the three cups I was staring at, the cups of contemplation. I've managed to turn my cups back over and come out of this, and now you're going to come back? I'm almost catching a sense of, you know what, this isn't my problem. <laughs> this is the vibe I'm getting off of this. Why should I make you feel worthy when you couldn't make me feel worthy. That's, that's the vibe I'm catching. I gotta, I gotta say that's not, that's not a polite attitude to have air sign friends, but you know, your emotions are your emotions and that is what it is. Let's get some advice for you guys. Five of wands upright, 10 of pentacles reverse. Eight of Cups in the world. Do not let this confrontation distract you from your path to abundance. Do not let this wreck your world. And it may be time to tell someone to take a long walk across a very hilly pass over a very tall hill, down a very short dock, <laughs> and a very small river. You get my point. Take a walk, okay? Six of Swords, Seven of Wands reversed. High Priestess and the Eight of Cups again. Use your intuition on this. These are both cards and move on from it. Move on from it. Move forward. Don't let this be an inner demon. Acknowledge the connection for what it is. But don't let them play with you if they're not going to play nice. And I don't think this person wants to play nice. And I think you realize that. Hmm. Okay, air sign friends. All right, I gotta pause. It's probably a good time to take a break anyway. Work is trying to call me. I apologize. I will be right back. Hi, sorry about that. Always a crisis, like always, daily. There's always a crisis going on apparently. Anyway, it's done, it's dealt with, it's, it's over, we're moving on. Water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun and Rising Venus, January. 18th through the 22nd. Starting to get a little tired. Did not work my normal hours today. I went in earlier than I normally do because I had to leave earlier. Oh, pardon me. And it just it's messing with me a little bit. It's not even that late. I'm already getting tired. Anyway. Water signs. Strength reversed. Ten of wands. Wow. Hmm. We got a Leo card and a ton of wands. That's fire. So could be a Leo or another fire sign you're dealing with. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Are you holding back from releasing a burden? Two of Swords reversed, Ace of Pentacles reversed in the past. Painful, impossible decision. No matter what you do, somebody's going to get hurt. 
long ago planted seed that was never going to grow. The Fool and the Nine of Pentacles reversed. Hmm. New things. Jump, jump. That didn't work out well. That didn't work out well. It's coming in for this week. Ah, Eight of Cups, King of Pentacles. Someone leaving a situation once and for all to go toward abundance. Let's get some clarity because I'm super confused right now. Super confused. Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards on the table for my water sign friends, please? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Seven of Cups popped out. Speaking of being confused, possibly somebody had other options. Sun reversed. Soulmate con connection not being mutually felt. Also a card of Leo in the reverse. Are you dealing with a Leo? I mean, you could possibly be. The sun is not shining, being held back from releasing a burden. Possibly being held back from getting something off your chest. Why is two of swords reversed here? Ace of Wands. More fire energy. New passionate communication. No matter what you do, somebody's going to get hurt. One more. Ace of Cups reversed, and somebody's cup's going to get spilt. Why is the Ace of Pentacles reversed here? Four of Pentacles reversed. Seven of Cups came back out. Somebody released and let something go to explore other options. Possibly an old seed that didn't grow. Somebody had to make an impossible choice to go off and start something new and spill somebody's cup. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Doggone it, retrograde. Really? It's only pre-shadow, guys. We still have, like, till what, like the 20th of February? Really? 20th? At the end of February, between pre-shadow, retrograde itself, and post-shadow, it's like a month and a half. Really? Am I going to be doing this for a month and a half? I don't want to be doing this for a month and a half. I want happy stuff. Happy stuff. Why is the full card here? Nine of Swords. Somebody jumped. Somebody made a quick decision, possibly a hasty choice. Somebody very well could be like, oh gosh, why did I do that? 
What was I thinking? One more on that. Five of Swords reversed. I'll never recover from this. Why did I do that? I'll never pick up the pieces from this. Why is the Nine of Pentacles reversed here? Hanged man. For real. For real? For real. Nine of Cups reversed. That's no way to react to things. That's how unnecessary burdens get created. I don't like your current energy water signs. I don't like this sense of regret that I'm feeling right now. And the sense of worthlessness that I'm feeling. And I'm, ah, it is what it is. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like the fact that some of you may be lulling in it to the point where you're basting your emotions and things you don't need to be basting emotions in. Probably overindulging a little bit more in things you shouldn't be overindulging in. Whatever that is that, you know, may... I mean, it's not a devil card, but the Nine of Cups reversed is, is my, like, minor arcana devil. It's, it's the stuff you don't want to get into. It's the things that you do to throw a band-aid on it, and it... Wow. Wow. It's the band-aid card. Having a few too many drinks... Spending a little bit too much money at a casino, spending a little bit too much money online shopping, spending a few too many hours playing video games, whatever it is you do, you might be doing a little bit too much of it right now. Just trying to get through the pain. Six of Swords reversed. Some of you may be trying to get the courage up. To release a burden to make the sun shine again. I don't know who did what. I wasn't there, but water signs. I think you may have broke somebody's heart, and I don't think you did it on purpose. I don't think it's something you wanted to do. Why is the Eight of Cups here for what's happening this week? Eight of Swords. Oh, moving on painfully. Wrapping yourself up in that cage of your own thoughts that cage that you can walk up at any time you want to because looky there those swords are far enough apart they are not tied together your feet are not bound see if you look real close you can see feet that are not tied together you can walk out of that anytime you want we choose to put ourselves in this mental and emotional position nobody does this to us we choose to do this just keep that in mind. One more on that, please. Queen of Pentacles. Hanging out next to a King of Pentacles. Well... You're moving on, but in a painful kind of way. You're carrying it with you. I 
I mean, the upside is you're going to find your self-worth. And there's a good possibility you might find your match. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. King of Wands, the King of Pentacles, please. Seven of Swords, be wary. Some of you may bump into someone who might not be what they are as they appear. One more. Three of Pentacles. King of Cups reversed. Be very wary. Water sign friends. Be very wary. Advice. Advice. Ace of Cups, Empress Reversed. This is, wow, that's deep and profound. Sometimes a cup is just a cup. And sometimes a moment is just a moment. And sometimes something new and beautiful is just for a moment. And it is not meant to last forever. And that is a painful, horrible lesson to have to learn. But if you allow your life to be just a collection of those beautiful, wonder, wonderful moments. And, and yeah, in between, you're going to have some kind of crappy Ten of Sword moments that are really going to suck. But those beautiful Ace of Cup moments are beautiful. They really are. So even if it wasn't meant to grow anything to, into anything lasting... You had a beautiful moment. Embrace it. It was wonderful. Tower reversed, death reversed. You cannot rebuild the tower the way you want to build it. Where you want it built, how you want it built, if you are still hanging on to old baggage and not letting something die. So if you still hang on to this, you're going to end up with this because you're going to repeat the same cycle over and over and over again. It's not what you want, is it? This, my friends, is someone who is stuck in a perpetual cycle. Well, the last one didn't work out, so this new one probably isn't going to work out. I'm probably moving on to my own oblivion, but I'm going to walk the path anyway. No, don't do that. No. If you manifest crap, you're going to get crap. How many times do I have to say it? If you manifest crap, you're going to get crap. Manifest the positive, friends. This is, like, going to be over an hour by the time I'm done. Uh, Knight of Swords Reverse Chariot Upright. Might be best. Might be best. Whatever your situation is, um, you might just want to keep communication minimal, if any at all, right now. And try to put some distance between you. <laughs> I wouldn't talk right now if I were you. I, I know you're itching to get something off your chest, but I don't think now is the time. I, I really don't. I, I don't think the time's appropriate. I think you're a little bit way too up in your head. Three of Swords and the Knight of Swords. If anything, I would wait for them to come to you. If they come to you, engage. I mean, why not? But... If you're feeling held back a little bit, there might be a reason why. If that makes any sense to anybody. Okay. Water signs. There you go. 
I can pause again because I need to catch my breath. So I will be right back. Okay, where was I? Fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. January 18th to 22nd, 2021. What's going on with my fire signs this week? Whew. Four of Wands and the Hangman reversed. Oof. Hmm. What's the eleven eleven? The ultimate soulmate connection, some call it the twin flame, if you believe in that sort of thing. This hangman reversed. I think some of you may still be a little bit hung up on somebody. That's what I'm getting out of that. I could be wrong, but I don't think I'm wrong. That's my first impression on that. What happened? Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. The first pinnacle of the ten, the seed of abundance, the slow grower. I don't know what that eight of pentacles is about. Typically, it means putting work into something. That's not what I'm catching. It's not what I'm feeling. Some of you could have put the work into this connection or given it your all. We'll clarify here in a second. Oh, the fool and the hierophant. Somebody jumped? Somebody jumped. New paths, new things. Could have been an Aries. Could have been a Taurus. I also got Pisces on the board. A little bit of earth, a little bit of fire. The Hierophant, not only does he marry people, he, he is the Pope. I mean, he's the dude. He marries people. He's also a teacher. He's a student. He's the life lessons guy. I'm catching there's a life lesson involved somewhere in here. For either you or the person you're dealing with, I don't know. Could be both of you. Who knows? I wasn't there. I'm just throwing down cards. What's coming in this week? The Star and the Judgment Reversed. Seriously, am I going to have like two months of this? I'm just wondering what I need to prepare myself for here because yet again, fourth one tonight, something coming back, something coming back, something coming back. All right, let's get some clarity before I ruin this. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards in the table from a fire sign, friends, please? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm in a weird energy tonight, guys. I'm just in a weird energy. I'm sorry. I got a whole lot more readings to do before I get to go to bed. Because <laughs> tomorrow, I would like to start the new cycle. I would really like to do that tomorrow. And Thursday, I have to drive back home again. <laughs> because, And I say back home because it's back to the town where I grew up. It's about 45-minute drive from here. 
because I have a pretty important doctor's appointment I have to go to. And yeah, when I moved, I didn't change doctors. So you stay with who you trust, you know? Or I shouldn't say, I should say I didn't change doctor's offices. It's a new doctor, but it's the same office. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking about me and start talking about these cards. All right, who wants to come out and play? Apparently you do. Five of Pentacles. For some readers, the Five of Pentacles is being left out in the cold. That is the Pentacles that hung onto that tree for dear life. That's the Pentacles that made it through the storm. Or that they're hanging on through the storm. You're in separation. I'm not going to beat that dead horse anymore. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Lovers. Kind of cockeyed. Kind of landed cockeyed. In the reverse. It wasn't equal. Somebody didn't feel it like the other one did. And it was a slow growing seed. So much potential. But for whatever reason, somebody may have had to leave for work. That's why the Eight of Pentacles came up. But y'all in separation. Can I get one on this Eight of Pentacles, please? For my fire sign friends, please. Thanks. Ace of Wands. Reversed. Put all that work in, put all that work in, didn't get started. Or if it got started, it didn't go very far. It was like a 4th of July sparkler. Poof! It was gone. Firecracker. Boom! It was a little exciting for about three seconds, and then it was over so much potential and I think somebody put a lot of work into it or they left for work take it over resonates I'm not going to delve too far into that why is the fool here okay you insist two of cups reversed on top of this fool somebody jumped y'all in separation it's just going to keep repeating the same thing over and over again guys Somebody decided to jump. Why is the Hierophant here? Ten of Wands. That's a load. Oh, that's a load. That's a load. Some tells me that's a whole load of upside down sticks for somebody. That's a whole load of life lessons. Can I get a tire, please? One at a time together. One, oh, eight, eight of swords reversed comes out. Well, tried to put it out of your mind. Tried to trudge along. Maybe you both did, but it's a heavy burden. It's a heavy burden. I think you try not to think about it very much. You try not to let it consume you. Hmm. All right. What's coming in this week? That's what we're all really here for, right? Why is the star here? The star is a card of healing. Two of wands, letting go of the wand of the past, moving toward the wand. Of oh, whoa. Sorry. Three of wands. more. Hi, where'd you go? Two of swords reversed. Why the two of swords reversed? Two 
There's the two of wands. Making the difficult choice to let go of that wand of the past and move toward the future. I think the three of wands is someone waiting, waiting for what? Nine of wands. It's a whole lot of wands. It's a whole lot of fire. Waiting for possibly an opportunity for one last go. She's holding that wand of passion. I gotta throw another one on that. King of Swords reverse. Logic just went out the window. Someone may not be perceptive. Maybe it's you, fire signs. Inside the, the, the armored chest of that King of Swords is a very scarred heart. He protects it. For whatever reason, it's not in protection mode at this point. Might be in a little bit of fight mode. Attitude might be a little bit sore, but... I don't know. It's a little weird. Nine of Wands. You might be playing with another fire sign. There's a whole lot of fire on this table right now. Either you're playing with a fire sign or there's a lot of sugar and spice going on, if you know what I'm saying. Or about to be. This is this week. Wow. Whew. Um, you know what I'm saying? You picking up what I'm putting down? Not too perceptive, but here comes a charging in that Knight of Wands charging back in. Probably after they bounced. Could be charging in for one last go round because maybe they waited for an opportunity. Maybe they waited for a healing. All right, why judgment reversed? High priest reversed. That's not that's not the life lesson guy. Four of Cups. Oh fire signs. You may be in a little bit of a I gotta think about it. I'm not sure if I wanna take your cup because Seven of Swords. There's been some spilled cups. Empress Reverse, and I don't know if this is going to go anywhere. Because you didn't treat me right the first time around. Fire signs, let's get your advice. This pentacle's held onto that tree for a long time. Ace of Swords reverse, Nine of Cups. Unless they're coming back in to fill your cups with what they need to be filled with, I, I wouldn't give them the time of day, at least that's what the cards are saying. Three of Pentacles reversed, Six of Swords reversed.
if the foundation is that unsteady, I, I wouldn't give it the time of day. Because you could be returning to something that is equally as unsteady. Eight of Cups, World Reversed. Six of Swords Reversed again. I don't know if this is a message for the fire side of the cross watcher, but until you completely and totally walk away from this, the cycle's never going to be closed. Okay, fire signs, let me know what happens, because, uh... That was strange. I mean, I get it. I understand it, but that was weird. All right. Maybe I'm just tired. Okay. I'm going to keep on reading a few more videos tonight. I don't know how long this is going to take to upload. Most people probably won't see it until Tuesday, but the plan is to start the um, February readings tomorrow. So I love you. Be blessed. Have a good week and we'll catch you guys on Friday.